This is a program that draws a border around an image. We will uh, give it a try right now just to see for sure that it works. And we have to input the percentage. I'm going to do 10%, and then I'm going to flip back over here and wait a few seconds, and there's my 10%. It looks funny because I've got, um, you know, very wide. It's a long picture, and so 10% of the length here uh, is going to be a lot more than 10% on the short side, but uh, it looks like it's doing 10% all the way around. So we'll close these, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some changes in my program. So um, it's correct, so none of the changes I'm going to make are going to affect correctness, but they're just going to affect uh, readability and clarity. So um, let's, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just to make it a little more readable. I'm going to make up two more variables and set width equal to image dot size sub zero and uh, height, that's the y, image dot size sub one. Okay. And then down here, um, I'm going to change size of zero to width, and I'm going to use the find and replace command for that. It's uh, Control H, and what I want to search for is I want to search for image dot size of zero, and I want to replace it with width, and I want to replace all. Uh, no, I don't want to replace all. Uh, I want to replace. I don't want to replace this one, otherwise no, nothing's going to work. So I'm going to replace this one, this one, this one, and uh, then I'm going to go down here and uh, replace image size one with um, height. And I just realized I misspelled the word width. Um, so I'm going to um, replace, replace. Uh, I'm going to skip that one, and then I'm going to replace. Okay, and yeah, W I D H T uh, T H. And T H. Okay, so it just makes it a little more readable. Uh, everything will still work exactly the way it did before. And um, now, um, what I'm doing here is I'm setting three variables, each equal to 255, um, and I'm doing that here, and I'm doing here, and I'm doing it here. Uh, when I get done changing those uh, in this if statement, this if statement, this one, and this one, uh, I put the pixel back out there. And since I'm doing the same thing, no matter which branch of the if statement I'm taking. I don't need it in all four branches. So I'm going to take this first one here and I'm going to do a control X. And the yellow one is the one that's actually selected. Those uh, brown highlighted ones are uh, other occurrences of the same text. And so I'm going to do a paste in here. And I want this to be outside of the if statement. So it's got to be indented back under the if. And I don't need that if now. I don't need this one. I don't need uh, this one, and I don't need this, okay? So I've simplified it a little bit, and uh, everything should still run exactly the same. And I did say something about putting some white space in your program. Um, the loop here is fairly short. Uh, we probably don't need any white space in the loop itself, but I like to put some white space after the loop and before the loop so the loop stands out better. Um, now, there's a feature that you can do in Python that does not work in, in uh, a number of programming languages, but it does work in Python. And that is we want to set a number of variables equal to the same thing. I can do it all in one statement like that. So that sets, and we'll explain how that works in a minute. I'm just going to copy it and uh, paste it in down here paste it in down here, and paste it in down here. So this is the way it works. Assignment statements work from right to left. And in Python, uh, this is what gets executed first. It copies 255 into the variable B. And then that is this is called an expression as well as an assignment statement. And the value of it is whatever gets assigned. So this is has a value of 255, which I'm going to assign to green. And then that expression has a value of 255, which I'm going to assign to red. So it's kind of a, a transitive thing. You know, first I do this, and then I do this, and then I do this. Uh, but if you want to set a bunch of variables to the same value, that is an easy way to do it. Okay. Uh, so we've shortened it quite a bit now. Let's go ahead and run it. 
And again, I need to go down here and answer the question, and 10%. And now I'm going to flip back over, and in a second or two here, our picture should show up with the white border around it. And there it is. And I'm going to close these other pictures. So um, I've shortened it up considerably here, and I can shorter, shorten it up some more. Uh, it turns out that um, you know, if what I'm doing here is basically the same thing, but I've got four different conditions, um, I can simply uh, take those, all of those conditions and separate them by the word or. So I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to put it up here, put the word or in, and then paste it in. And then I'm going to go down here and uh, take this condition and cut it out. Control X and then OR and then paste it in. And then I'm going to go down here and take my last condition and do a Control X and go up here and uh, put the word OR and then paste it in. Okay, so um, if X is less than this or X is greater than this times this or Y is less than this or Y is greater than this times this, then I want to do this. And so now I've taken four if statements. And by using what's called a compound condition or compound boolean here, I've reduced it down to one if statement. Okay, um, so now let's go ahead and run it again. It should work exactly as it did before. And we'll go down here and we'll put 10% again. And we'll wait for the picture to show up. And there it is. So it's doing exactly the same thing. Uh, it's a lot less code. Uh, now, there are still actually two more things we can do here. Uh, I don't even need to mess with this RGB business here. I can just delete that. I don't need variables here. Um, I can just have one put pixel command, and I can put constants here. And I'll put a red border around this time. So I'm going to do 255, comma, 0, comma, 0. So 255 for the red, 0 for the green and the blue. And uh, it turns out that we don't, we never use these values here. Uh, we're kind of used to reading the pixels and uh, getting the red, green, the blue every time we go through, because uh, most of the time you do need those, but in this case we don't. So I'm just going to uh, delete that. And now look what we've got. We've got basically one if statement inside of our loop. And let's go ahead and run it. We should get a uh, red border this time. Let's put 10% in there. And come back and wait, and there's our red border. And it does exactly the same thing. Uh, all we did was, you know, use some variable names to clean this up and make it a little bit easier to read. That makes our our four statements here, I think, easier to read. It makes these easier to read down here. And uh, we didn't need to read the pixel values, and we uh, only have to put it back out there once. So we can simplify this uh, significantly um, by making a few changes here.